Made in Hollywood. An author is the original creator of a written work. Bruce Cameron attended Westminster College and began his career as a freelance writer. Mr. Cameron has written the book's Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter and the New York Times best-selling novel, A Dog's Purpose. Hi, I'm novelist and screenwriter W. Bruce Cameron. You are watching Made in Hollywood, and now a scene from A Dog's Purpose. This was me, and then this was me. Then I came back as this little guy. A lot of lives for one dog to live, but I'm getting ahead of myself. What came first, novelist or screenwriter? Oh, definitely the novelist. In fact, fourth grade, I sat down to write my first novel. Uh, it was called Bad Luck Bruce. It was about a boy with two evil sisters, so it was based on a true story. And then I never stopped. I never wanted to do anything from that point on but be a novelist. And I wrote nine unpublished and unpublishable novels before I finally scored with my tenth book. But that's the story of my life, it was mostly failure as a writer. Why were they unpublishable? When I was writing, I was doing it wrong. And it wasn't until I came out here and got involved with screenwriting that I figured out that my problem was structure. So writing A Dog's Purpose, for example, I outlined the book from beginning to end and I knew exactly what was going to happen each step of the way. Before, I wrote novels that never seemed to end. They just kept going on and the people would sit around and say, so when is this novel gonna end? We got other things to do. And then I was back. I didn't have a, I'm a girl. Good girl, good girl. I had a new purpose. I was needed again. At any point in your career, do you ever feel like you still need to learn some more or you need to go back for education or training to assist you on the job? I feel like I know almost nothing and uh, my approach to life has been to stumble through it and fall down a lot and that's how I do screenwriting and everything else. I don't think I'm capable of learning anything new. I think I'm topped out on that. So it's just going to be me doing trial and error and a, mostly error, and occasionally something will come of it like a dog's purpose. After writing so many books now, would you say it's easy? Writing is not easy. It's a science and an art all mixed together. It's a discipline, but it is something one can master with enough practice. And I suppose that, you know, you could ask a piano player if it's easy to play the piano, and maybe it's easier, but it's never easy, I don't think. It's certainly not easy being a professional writer. It's very difficult. Hi, you! With each new life, I was learning a new lesson. Hey, God. <laughs> what advice do you have for young aspiring writers then? I think if you're an aspiring writer, the hardest thing to understand, and this certainly was a lesson it took my whole life to learn, it's not going to come easily. It's never going to be an overnight success. That happens to some people. There are people who write one book and it takes off and they make all kinds of money or they have one screenplay and that becomes an Academy Award winning screenplay. But for the most of us, it's a really tough slog and getting accustomed to that idea and understanding that you're gonna fail as much as you're going to succeed, perhaps a lot more than you're going to succeed, is, is, it, takes a, it takes a real psychological fortitude to get past that. For the people who actually do want to push through because they have a lot of drive and motivation, are there things that if you were to look back on your career now that you would say, okay, so like making this move really helps me, so I suggest you definitely do this? I would say don't do what I did. Don't see yourself as needing to have a middle class life with a family and a car payment and a mortgage because that will just hold you back. If you really want to be an artist of any kind, that becomes the focus of your life. You have to eat, so you get a job so that you can eat. But I had a career with General Motors. I was heavily involved with that. There were many years where I could barely find time to write because I was so busy pursuing this other path. That was a mistake. If I had to do it over again, I never would have stopped repossessing cars and driving ambulances and doing things that were not careers. I tried to make sense out of all the things I'd seen. Was there a point to this journey of mine? And how did bacon fit in? 